Now, let's see this example. Design a Mohr mission to find two's complement of a given binary number. We know that binary number means it is a combination of zeros and ones. So here the input alphabet sigma equal to it is a combination of zeros and ones. So sigma sigma equal to zero comma one. Whereas output alphabet is represented by triangle, which we can call as delta. So two's complement means it also contains binary number. So binary means zeros and ones. So output alphabet also contains zero and one. So first, let's see some examples. Example number one. Let the number is like this: zero one one zero zero. Let this is our uh, binary number. Let us calculate uh, two's complement of this number. We know the formula for two's complement. Two's complement equal to one's complement plus one. So first, let us calculate one's complement. So one's complement means. Zeros will be converted to ones. Ones will be converted to zeros. So this zero will be converted to one. One will be converted to zero. So one will be converted to zero. This zero will be converted to one. This zero will be converted to one. So here two's complement means two's complement equal to one's complement plus one. So you add one to it. So one plus one, zero with a carry one. One plus one, zero with carry one. Next zero plus one, one. Next zero one. So this is the result. Likewise, let us calculate two's complement for another number. So let the number is like this: one double zero zero one. Let this is our number. Let us calculate two's complement. So two's complement equal to one's complement plus one. So one means zero. Triple zero means one. One means zero. So two's complement means one's complement plus one. So you add one to it. So one zero. If we observe the output here, initial of here this bit is called as MSB, most significant bit. This bit is called as least significant bit. Here, in order to analyze the output, instead of reading the data from most significant bit, it is better to read data from least significant bit. So if the bit is zero, keep it as zero. If the bit is zero, keep it as zero. If the bit is one, keep it as one. Next one means zero, zero means one. So here the logic is very very simple. Up to first one, keep the bits same. Up to first one. So zero means same, zero means same, one means same. And after that, complement the bits. This one will be converted to zero. This zero will be converted to one. Likewise, if we analyze this also, this this bit is called as MSB. This bit is called as LSB. So now, instead of reading the data from MSB, we have to read the data from least significant bit. Here, what is the logic? Up to first one, keep the output same. So one means one, zero means zero, and after that, complement the bits. So up to first one. Here this is the first one. So keep it as same. And after that, zero will be converted to one. One will be converted to zero. So zero means one. Zero means one. Zero means one. One means zero. So this is the logic. So for this we have to design the uh, more mission. We know about more mission. More mission means the output depends only on the present state. So inside the state we have to write the output. So here let the starting state is. Q naught. Inside the state, we have to write the output Q naught. Here, what is the logic? Up to first one, keep the bits same. So Q naught. If the input is one, if the input is one, then go to the state next state. Let it be one. Up to first one, keep it as same only. That means if the input is one, then the output is then the output is also one. So before this one, we may have any number of zeros. We may have any number of zeros. So we have to keep them as same only. So that means simply we can apply the self loop. Here we have two zeros. What is the output here? Zero 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 zero. 
so output is zero so here up to first one up to first one the output is same only so if the input is one which, which is applied on q not then what is the output same output if the input is one output is one next before this one we may have multiple any number of zeros then the output is zero only okay uh, more more emission more mission is nothing but dfa only so we know about dfa dfa means each state must consume all the symbols present in the alphabet here the input alphabet contains two symbols such as 0 and 1 so we have to use 0 and 1 symbols on each and every state on q0 we have used 0 and 1 next let us focus on q1 now let us focus on q1 state here what is the output of q1 state 1 when the output is 1 if the input is 0 why because after this one we may have any number of ones and zeros we need to simply complement those bits here the output of q1 is 1 so when the output of q1 is 1 if the input is 0 so if we have any number of zeros then simply we have to complement the bits next 0 is applied next we have to apply 1 we have to apply 1 so what is the next state q2 is the next state here the input is 1 if the input is 1 then we have to complement that input so the output is 0 so on q1 we have used 0 as well as 1 now we need to apply 0 and 1 on q2 here what is the output 0 is the output of q2 so when the output of q2 is 0 if the input is 1 if the input is 1 that is nothing but self loop next we need to apply input 0 on q2 now we need to apply 0 on q2 if the input is 0 then the output is 1 so here the output of q1 is 1 whereas the output of q0 is 0 but here if the input is 0 then what is the output 1 is the output so we have to move to the state backtrack to the state q1 whose output is 1 so this is the more emission in order to find two's complement of a given binary number. Now let's check whether this diagram is correct or not by taking an input string. Let us consider this input string 0, double 1, double 0. Now let's check whether we will get this output or not. Here instead of reading the data from the MSB, it is better to read the data from LSB. Here this is LSB bit. So we have to read the data from LSB. Here the initial state is Q0. Q0 on 0 means what is the state? Q0 is the state. Next we need to apply Q0 on 0. Q0 on 0 means Q0 is the state. Next Q0 on 1. Q0 on 1 means Q1. Next Q1 on 1 means Q2 next q2 on 0 means q1 now let us write the outputs output of q0 is 0 0 0 output of q1 is what is the output of q1 1 1 output of q2 is 0 if you see here here the input string size is 5 bits whereas output string size is 6 bits this is more emission in more emission if the size of the input string is n, then the size of the output string is n plus 1. In that occasion, we can neglect the least significant bit. Here, what is the least significant bit? This 0 is the least significant bit. So, we can neglect that one. So, what is the output? 10100 is the output. So, 10100 is the output. So, with this, we can say that our diagram is correct only. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, as well as share the channel with your friends thanks for watching